everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be unboxing the Lavish Bath Box for the month of November 2019. If you're unfamiliar, Lavish is a monthly bath subscription where you get indie bath products, usually around six to seven products every month. Um, this retails for $38.95 a month plus shipping and it ends up in around the $45 range after the shipping costs, at least if you live in the United States. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of different unboxing videos here from bath, beauty, home decor, fashion, food, and everything in between so if you're into that go ahead and subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the lavish bath box for this month so every month they have a different theme and i think this one's kind of like woodland themed let's see yep so when you open it up this is what it looks like there's a card on top and then some squigglies and all the products will be underneath so this month's theme is woodland lodge so this is what the card looks like it's always custom every month and really cute and then on the back is everything inside there's also going to be some discount codes there so you can go ahead and pause if you might want to use those but let's go ahead and get in it smells really really good so i'm excited to get in here and i just love the themes every month so the first thing that i am pulling out looks to be a little bit of a candle and this is by dirty girl farm and this is their wood pile soy candle and which is four ounces so that is it here. Um, scented with top notes of leather, tobacco, and amber, and musk, with spicy black tea and pepper on a base of teakwood patchouli and sandalwood. All right, let's give this a smell. Ooh, that smells very fall. It smells like manly fall winter, like woodsy. It smells really good. Not too headachey. Um, I like that a lot. So it's just a standard um, wick white wax. And that's a really cute candle and you can burn that while you're taking a bath or burn it anywhere in your house but that smells really good and i'm excited about it the next thing that i am pulling out looks like it is a bubble bath bar by bath jam and this is their acorn bubble bar this is what it looks like so it says crumble this shimmer acorn under the running water for a forest full of fluffy bubbles scented in black currant and forest woods with amber balsamic Amorous, black pepper, geranium, clementine, and patchouli. So let's see. Oh, I can smell it through the package. It smells really nice. So these are a little bit heavier type of scents. Um, so if you're really into fruity bath products, this particular box won't be yours. But they do have some great fruity boxes as well. And that smells really good. To be honest, I prefer fruity scents, but these smell really good too. And your whole like bathroom and or whatever room is attached to your bathroom is going to smell so good once you get out of the bath after that one. All right, the next thing that I am pulling out is from Willow Bella Soaps, and this is their Nights by the Fire Bath Truffle. That's what it looks like. So it has some black, some orange, yellow, red. Um, so where did I just lost where it was? Ah, loaded with skin softening butters and oils, these bath troubles give you the ultimate spa experience, leaving your skin a deliciously scented in a rich campfire and warm toasted marshmallow. Ooh, it definitely smells like that. Smells marshmallowy and campfirey and good. Mm, that is so fun. I'm really excited to use that. And these are very, very moisturizing, um, the truffles are. All right, next thing that I am pulling out is a Fox Bath Bomb, and this is by Zen Bath. Uh, Zen Bath Candy. So this is their Sleepy Fox Bath Bomb. The sweet sleeping fox shaped bath bomb is a hand painted and filled with beautiful teal embeds, scented in juicy spiced pear. Okay, so if you like fruity scents, this one's for you and it smells so good. That juicy pear scent and I'm so excited for the teal embeds inside. It's going to leave your water with a really pretty color. I'm thinking it's going to kind of come out green with the orange on the teal, but we'll see. Mm, and it's so cute. I love the smell of that one. All right, a couple more products in here. So the next thing that I'm pulling out is a Sweater Weather Bath Bomb by Bath Sorbet. And that's what it looks like. It kind of is like a hockey puck shape. And then it has that on the front. This beautifully detailed buffalo plaid print bath bomb scented in a cozy blend of vanilla, caramel, fig sugar, uh, fig, sugar, and amber. Ooh, that smells like a very like sweet, sugary, musky fall scent. That smells really, really good as well. Wow, the products smell amazing this time around. I mean, not that they don't normally, but like, I don't know. It smells really good and it's totally on theme. So the next thing that I am pulling out um, is from 
where is this? Slightly melted. And these are cider and marshmallow shower mochi. Okay, what's that? Um, a shower mochi is a single-use cleansing exfoliator made with sugar and finely ground rice. Similar to a solid scrub, they can be used directly on the skin. This two-pack scented in apple cider and toasted marshmallow. Or this is a two-pack. Okay, cool. So on one side you have the... I'm guessing that this is the apple cider and this is the toasted marshmallow. So it's a one-time exfoliator made with rice. Cool. So these are great. I would, I'll probably use these before I... I usually shave my legs in the bath. So I'll probably use these before I shave my legs just to kind of like loosen the hair follicles. Or you could just use it as an exfoliating body scrub wash. But that's fun that there are two in there and they're in different scents. So that's fun. I've never tried that before. I'm learning something new. How many products is that? Oh yeah, that's right. There's six, seven products this time. Usually I think there's closer to a more on the six side. So this is from Grace and Bloom and this is their soft flannel hair perfume and smoothing spray. So that is what it looks like. I think I have it upside, no? Yeah, I had it upside down. Um, great for refreshing the hair between washes with its lightweight alcohol-free formula, scented in clean cotton, smoked amber, and sandalwood. It doubles as an all-over moisturizing body spray. All right. Let's give this just a little spritz to the air to see what it smells like. I'm not going to spray it in my hair in case I don't like the smell and then it'll be stuck with me, but... Okay, so that is a very light... It smells like kind of like toasted marshmallow, but not really. It smells good. It probably will smell different on your hair or on your skin than it does in the air, obviously. But I will definitely give that a try. I'll spray it in my hair next time and um, see how I like it for the day. But that is a really cute bottle as well. So that is everything that I got in the lavish bath box for November 2019. I love the theme. This is probably one of my favorite boxes that I've gotten from them actually based on the scents and the different things. I thought that this box was super duper fun. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. What products would you want to use? What do you like the best? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. And I will see you in my next video.